Welcome back guys. Welcome to Tech Tiger Academy. I am Ravi Malhotra, your instructor for this entire Checkpoint NGX R80.40 CCSE, CCSE, CCSM learning series. It's a, it's a short lecture, it's a short video, it's a lab number 5. And uh, what we are going to learn in this lab is, uh, is a very interesting topic. Is that once you have created the whole virtual environment, now you have learned the... Uh, uh, that how to create Gaia, how to do that networking, but that you know you would also like to do some practicals where you will have to access internet from the virtual machine. So how do you connect your virtual machine to the internet, right? This is what we are going to learn in this video. So uh, yeah, learn connect VMware virtual machine checkpoint gateway to the internet. That's the objective of this uh, of this lecture of this lab. Connect to the internet from firewall virtual machine in VMware workstation. It has certain prerequisites. Let me tell you that your VMware should be installed. Your VMware should be downloaded. Right. Make sure that you fulfill all the prerequisites like this. Okay. Um, just go back to all my previous videos. Refer to video number 7. Refer to video number 8. Refer to video number 9. Refer to video number 10. They will tell you how you can install Gaia. How you do networking. You will understand the concept of different VLANs that I am using in this lab. Right. So once you do all that. Then we can start ahead now. So the first thing that I want to do is that. Ping 192.168.137.1 from the virtual machine. Let me just make a small diagram for you uh, at present. So I have this. Uh, so I have this uh, firewall. Okay. Uh, this is my ETH one. This is connected to the router. My this IP address is one thirty seven dot thirty seven. This router IP address is one thirty seven dot one. Here it is connected to Airtel. From this, I can go to internet. My objective is that from this virtual machine, I should be able to go to the firewall. And here I have a management server. So here is a switch. right so this is the objective um, this is 137.1 this is IP address of the router so first of all I would like to see that ping 192.168.137 from the virtual machine and it should be pingable that's the first thing we'll do now go to network connections on the host system of my laptop I will perform all these actions okay so let me just first of all do the first stuff let me go to my virtual machine that's my virtual machine which is running I will log in very good it says that ping 192.168.137.1 I can ping that let me show you my interface okay if config eth1 my ETH one is 137.37. You can see that, right? Uh, if I say route, I see that uh, there is a default gateway 0.0.0.0. It is towards 192.168.137.1. So I can ping my default gateway, right? Very good. Now so the first activity is performed I can ping that I will say yes it's working right uh, next thing is that now go to network connections from the host laptop desktop right click on the LAN or the Wi-Fi interface click properties sharing tab so I'll give a command then ncpa.cpl and that's my Wi-Fi at present I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network I'll right click I'll go to properties I'll go to sharing tab right so 
So I need to go to properties and then sharing tab. That's the property. Then here is a sharing tab. You see that? Go to sharing tab. Let's go back to the slide. Check the option allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. That's an option. Allow other network users to connect through this computer's network connection. Check this option. Select VMware network adapter VMNet1. It's important guys. Just select VMNet1. Let's select VMNet1. VMware network adapter VMNet1. And click on OK. Once you click on OK. Let me just disable and let me just enable it. Right. Um, so now uh, what I will do. So this is done. Right. This piece is done. This is done. Now it says that access the virtual machine and uh, try to ping 192.168.137.1. Same again. Try to ping 4.2.2.2. Uh, give a command, show DNS, and then ping these, and then try to do this. So let us do that now. Let me let me first of all do show DNS. Mm, I believe it's a chsh hyphen s slash slash bin s slash bin slash clash admin done exit admin show dns i see that the dns is 4.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. Let me ping 192.168.137.1. It is pingable. Let me ping 4.2.2.2. .2 wow, it is pingable now. Okay, I can ping 4.2.2. Let me ping www.google.com from this firewall virtual machine. Yes, I can ping google.com. Let me do trace route www.google.com. So it will just do the trace route now. So guys, um, let me just take you back to the slide here. So this is done. 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 So this whole exercise is completed, guys. So with this, the, as I said that, that, you know, it's a short lecture. It's a short video. The only purpose was that how you can connect your firewall to the virtual machine because then you will be able to do some labs. Take an example, application filtering, URL filtering, where you want to allow or disallow some of the websites, right? Where you want to do some of the VPN connectivity and all that. So this lab is really going to play a very important role in your overall understanding so so uh, so that's it guys uh, so with that i just want to uh, say you that you know please subscribe to my channel uh, uh, please like it right and just leave your comments if you have any queries and you know you can also forward and you can share it with your friends who who just want to learn checkpoint um, i'm going to make so many other series as well let's say that fortinet series the palo alto series barracuda firewall series f5 series right so many series are are just about to i'm just about to upload them uh that's it guys have a wonderful day um just have a great life